You can't smell it, you can't taste it, you can't see it. We're talking about radon gas, which I know you've probably heard of. And joining us today is Diana Cotton with SWAT Environmental. And thank you for joining us, first of all. Radon, we were talking a little bit beforehand. You kind of scared me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so radon gas, you can't smell it, you can't taste it, you can't see it, you don't know it's there unless you test for it. And so radon is basically the uranium breaking down in soil and rock under the foundation of your home, so in the ground. So how do we become exposed to it? So um, because radon is a heavy gas, it will eventually seep out of the ground. but the ground is dense, so it's going to get into your home because that's the path of least resistance. Sure. And it goes into the foundations through crack sump pumps and through your cracks and crevices in your foundation. Mm. Okay, so how do I know then that it is in my home? What would I do? Yeah, so you can get a test kit. It's like a DIY, do-it-yourself test kit, and um, they're usually $20 or less. We offer them um, at SWAT Environmental. You can call 1-800-NO-RADON. We can get you the test kit. Uh, right now we are offering them for about $10 and you set that up in your basement for about three days and you'll know what your results are. Right, and there is a, a small level of radon in every basement, right? Correct. So Correct. how do we know what is a safe level? So EPA says that a safe level is anything 3.9 and under and radon is measured in picocuries, so 3.9 and under. World Health Organization says 2.7 and under. So you want it as low as possible because you just, you never know. Right. You never know what that safe level is for yourself. So Diana, tell me a little bit about statistically speaking, how many homes out there then, I know you, right? how many homes have? How many homes have radon? Radon. So nationally one in 15 homes, but that means your neighbor could have no radon and you could have radon because there could be a pocket underground that's just releasing it right in your pathway. Right. And so the best way to know is what's safe and what's, or what your levels are that are considered safe. So for a small example, um, a level of 4.0, so one point, you know, point one higher than EPA's safe level is equivalent to smoking eight cigarettes a day. Well, and you just said beforehand, which which struck right. me a little bit, that the second leading it's the cause. The second leading cause of lung cancer, second only to smoking. All right. Well, we well, encourage SWAT people in, to grab the yeah, kids. SWAT right. Environmental, we've put your number right. one eight hundred no radon there on the screen. Thank you for educating us. Right. Yeah, make Thank sure you. you test your basement. Uh, it could save your, your life, actually. Yeah. That's all our time for now on The Blend. Make it a great day. Thank you.